my life in 2021. Hey everyone, my name is Jada and I'm going to be talking about what my life was like in 2021. <sighs> it has been hectic, my dudes. There is a lot to go through with this particular video, so let's get started, shall we? At the beginning of the year, um, we start off the year with a bang by celebrating with fireworks going off and just celebrating the new year, as you do every New Year's Eve. With us Aussies, it's drinking way too much, getting absolutely smashed, but being with all your mates. Traditionally, you're supposed to have a New Year's kiss. Never had one. Couldn't tell you about that. But at the beginning of the year, I started off at my best friend Aaron's house. We celebrated the year off together. Me being the sober one because I don't drink. We celebrated the night together and it was beautiful. Could not have asked for a better way to start the year. You'll see in a video coming up soon, my 2021 year recap with a bunch of different videos of all of my friends and I. That's going to be a long one, but it's going to be so much fun. So we started off the year with that. About six days later, I finally broke up with my extremely shitty ex-boyfriend and was the happiest day of my life. The day before that was extremely shit because he called me toxic and manipulative and a bunch of other stuff which we can go through in a podcast on another time. But yeah, basically I finally got rid of that piece of trash of a man that I had called a boyfriend. More or less ish. Who knows anymore. And I set off the new year with a new mentality and I also had a New Year's resolution which was to do things that scare me and to just try and be more confident as a human being. And doing that, broke up with my ex, big old check, and I just was starting my final year of university, which was absolutely scary because that was it. It was going to be this year and that's it. The degree was over and done with, I would have finished my entire degree. And I did. I finished my degree. I now have a bachelor in media design. <laughs> I am a graduated university student, which is so scary. Holy shit. Um, ah, so that's a thing that happened. Um, what else happened? Oh my God, so much has happened this year. I got another job, which I work at Coles, which is like a supermarket chain. I work in the deli section. We've just been a lot of fun, I've been doing that for the past three months. Um, I turned 21. I am 21 years old now, I had a big old party where I celebrated with all my friends, we went all medieval and I planned this since January and it went really well, almost without a hitch. There were some minor things I wish that would have happened or been improved on but like, you know, shit's gonna happen. I told my parents I was going to be moving out next month. In January, I'm going to be moving out, so I'm sorting that out. <laughs> um, as well as just a lot of exciting things this year for me, I also finally confessed to my number one crush. Um, well, that went super duper sweet. Um, basically, it's a no for now, but... Ayo, um, yeah, my dumbass brain thinks that being a hopeless romantic is almost like a trait at this rate. Yeah, the letdown was cute, but, you know, will I wait for him? Probably. Do I want to? Questionable. Am I messed up in love? Yeah. You know, who knows where life will take us in the future, but that took a lot of uh, balls to do it. I wrote him a beautiful letter. In my opinion, it was beautiful. Um, he loved it too and kind of confessed my feelings and kind of said why I liked him, stuff like that. Um, gave that to him. Before that though, I started hanging out with him a lot more, having more fun. I started to dress more for myself and kind of not hide my body anymore because I was so afraid of my body and I was so scared of it. And I wanna do a whole video about that, but I just hated my body so much, so I decided to show it off more and dress more to my style and dress more to my love and passions, and I did that. I started talking about my passions more and just becoming more and more me. The past three years I wasn't allowed to because of the shitty relationship I was in, and now that I was free of that, I was allowed to talk about my passions, my feelings. This year alone, I've started talking more about my feelings and actually letting my friends know all of the issues that I go through in my own life. 
yeah, I started to tell my friends a lot more about my own personal issues in life. I had a big old 20 minute speech basically talking a little bit about myself and how I struggle with a lot of things with my depression, anxiety, PTSD, body issues that I have when it comes to pain and things like that. I told them about it for the first time for like 99% of them. I started to be more open with myself and while all of this was super duper great and positive, there was also a lot of downfalls this year. I sadly lost my grandfather and my uncle within a month and I had to give away my dog Trico all within that one and a month, one and a half month span. Um, that hurt a lot. It was a low month for me. I had like three big fights with my brother from another mother um, and we've never fought before. Yeah, <laughs> like that hurt me so much. We had one not long ago and it just, it hurts a lot. You know, we've never really fought and I've never really fought with friends before. So I was fighting with two of my friends and um, the same person. Luckily we've resolved all that, everything's all good, but that really sucked. Lots of like pick me, you know, am I the favorite type of shit. And this year as well, I decided to just not give a fuck about a lot of things. Um, I really just gave up on kind of fixating and overly caring about a lot of things. So I guess that was good in some degree. <laughs> it's good to kind of have that energy and vibe. I started hanging out with different friends and kind of slowly but surely integrating myself into a new friendship group, which was really scary and daunting, but still working on it and getting better at it. I feel like I've done a lot and nothing all at the same time. I got into another university, which I'm going into next year. So next year I'll be doing a Bachelor of Creative Writing. So that's super duper exciting. So that'll be my second degree if I finish it, which is another three year degree at a different uni. So hopefully it should be a lot more better. Uh, obviously restarted the channel again, um, made a lot more content, started D&D &D again, well, started D&D &D on the channel, doing podcasts more fluently, started to do videos with my friends, <laughs> took a break from that at, in the last month or two, just because life has been hell uh, for all of us in general, you know, all the people I work with, which is, you know, Dakota, Lister and Caitlin, um, had to kind of take a break on that because we all become super busy, like I'm working every single day this week. Um, so it's seven days a week because I have two different jobs because obviously when I start moving out I'm gonna need to make some money and it gets more and more difficult to kind of make videos um, even though I now have a PC which I really want to do more videos on and kind of do more games and get back into the routine of doing that I think I kind of lost myself because I was so upset with a lot of things that had happened you know with all the audience my friends with losing family members with all these things the last thing I wanted to do was kind of force myself to be entertaining and force myself to do shit and I don't have that mentality anymore where I used to make seven to nine videos a week and just pump them out like there was no tomorrow I can't do that anymore I get too burnt out I'm too mentally exhausted to do that I was like 15 16 when I did that and I was in the middle of year 10 and 11 I'd pump all this out and unfortunately I can't do that. So that's why I stuck with like one video a week. I thought, okay, that I can keep up with. And even that I'm beginning to struggle with. I still wanna make videos. I just wanna make videos that I'm proud of. And I think it's hard to do that when you don't really know what you're doing. So that's kind of been a bit of a mindset difference. But did I stick to my New Year's resolution? Absolutely. fucking lootly Like I said, I confessed to my crush. I broke up with my really shitty ex-boyfriend. I told people more about my life and the things that terrified me and the things I struggle with. I have just been more open in general and that scares me the most is being more open about myself. You know, letting people help me when I have issues and kind of, you know, literally setting up for myself is a big struggle for me. I'm so used to kind of putting myself behind and, you know, letting people like take advantage of me and like I have this running joke where like if someone says like oh you know like I don't know like oh I wish I had a glass of water I grab it for them and they're like why did you do that and I'm like well it's my job it's been my job for the past 21 years to 
do what people tell me, do it within that second and be people's servants. So it's become a routine in my brain. As soon as someone says something, immediately do it. And there are no questions I ask myself. And I wanna get out of that habit. I wanna be able to sit down and relax at my own parties I host, cause I don't even do that. I don't do those things. I'm so used to being like people over, entertain host mode, servant mode even. And that got taken advantage of. And I wanna break out of that. So <laughs> on a more positive note, what? Uh, plans for next year. 2022, I think I want to continue to work on body positivity. That's a forever continue like work in progress. <laughs> but you know, I want to be able to kind of wear things a little bit more, maybe like risque or even just being able to kind of be continue to be okay to look in the mirror, continue to love myself, continue to look after my faith, you know. Like if I want to do my hair, do it. If I want to sit down and do a facial, I shouldn't get mad at myself for doing that. I shouldn't get mad at myself for, you know, example, I've been using the strengthening nail polish. I shouldn't get mad for putting that on. Get upset at myself because I'm looking after myself. My body is needed. It is a vessel. It is something to help me get through life. And if my vessel starts to deteriorate and break before I do, why well, can't do anything? I want to make sure that this is kept as well as my brain and my heart and soul. So if that means looking after my body more, then I'm going to do that. So that's always the one continuous thing I'm working on, and it's just looking after this thing that I call a human body. The second thing that I want to kind of work on more is just obviously then I'll move into a new house. That's going to be a whole new experience. It's going to be a whole new world. I am nervous, but I'm excited. I just want to, you know, see what it's like to live with other people who want to interact and talk and have, like, want to talk about your passions as well as theirs and talk to people in my age group. I don't have anyone to talk to in my age group that's around me a lot. I don't have any siblings and the cousins I do have around my age group either we just don't have time or we're just, we just can't. Like, it's just not practical for us to do that. So kind of moving into a new space will be really scary, but it's a good step forward for me. I need to continue to do that. I need to continue to push myself more and more. I want to be able to do those things. I don't know what my New Year's resolution will be because as of filming this, it is currently December 13th. I know you guys with this at a different date. I think that is for New Year's Eve me to figure out. I tend to figure it out on the night and kind of stick to it. I don't like doing the whole like workouts, routines, that type of shit because I never stick to those and they're not practical for me and my body. So I don't know what it's going to be, but I hope that whatever it is that I'm not too hard on myself and I hope that I just continue to be supportive to everyone, especially myself. I think I covered all the main points of what happened this year. I've definitely seen friends a lot more, gone out a lot more. I've just, you know, whether it's gone out to eat more, whether it's just, you know, even all the stuff I have filmed, like quick little snippets, as well as the things I haven't filmed, they all mean a lot. And I'm glad that I, this year was really spent on defining who my friends are, building those relationships and continuing to make them stronger. I'm all about supporting my friends and loving them and caring for them like they're my own children and I want to make sure that I'm just putting time and effort into the people who actually care or respect me versus people who are there to use and abuse me and are just kind of there because. It's very easy for me to see who those people are. Even if I don't cut them out straight away it's very obvious to me who are there to solely either use me or kind of stay around because of some particular reason and not because they're my friend versus people who give a shit about me. If they don't have to message me, they don't have to see me at all. Like I see two of my friends once or twice a year and I know they're my friends and they've got my back no matter what. I could see someone every single day and know they're not my friend. It's the spectrum of curiosity and just the fluctuation of friendships, I guess. But I guess I want to say to 22 year old me, hope you're doing well, good luck. And I hope whatever you're doing, wherever you are, that you are proud of yourself, that you love yourself, and that just remember one thing. 
the way you work is different to everyone else. Just because some people don't like the way you work, or just because some people don't like the way you think or do things, does not mean it's wrong. It just means it works for you and not them, and that's perfectly okay. You are a geeky young woman who does not give a shit about people, but also cares about them way too much, who would rather read fantasy books than actually live a fantasy life, who loves slow burning romances and just wants to be loved by someone but is more than happy to kind of be their own independent powerhouse of a woman. You are a complicated human being but you are what you need. So that's my message to next year's me and to anyone who resonated with that. I'm going to leave this video here. Thank you all so much for watching and I shall see you guys either next year which will be the next video that you'll see me chatting like this. Bye.